Good morning and welcome to another short video from the audio filing car. Today I want to take you around some of the modifications that we've made to this Spectre Edition Defender 110. Um, I don't need to tell you what a stunning looking vehicle it is. It's absolutely superb and it's been beautifully built. It's actually built by Urban Automotive, I believe. Um, and as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a huge presence and it's really nicely finished off. So it's come to us to kind of put the finishing touches to the vehicle, so which is what we like to do. So we've soundproofed it firstly, so full soundproofing, a three layer system in the doors. So that's the back of the door card, the whole frame, and also the inner skin of the outer part of the door. We've also added um, water shedders to this because they're, they're quite often missing. Um, we've added stainless steel finishes, so that's a nice touch. We've now got them in brushed, which uh, we didn't have before, but they look very nice. Obviously we've fully soundproofed the floor pan, we've fully soundproofed the roof, so we've removed the headlining. Uh, we've put, fitted Dynamatic Extreme to the, the roof right the way through, and then we've put a six millimeter foam over the top of that. We've added our Pioneer double din nav, conver nav conversion. So we do our half panel, which is a little bit different here because the original panel comes all the way down. We cut it in half and refinish it. Um, it fits beautifully, as you can see. So we've cut the hole the right size, which is quite important. They're not always cut the right size. And this Pioneer unit gives wireless Apple CarPlay and now wireless Android Auto. So that's quite a cool feature that not many people know about yet. While we were in here, we added a mud interior light. Well, I really like these because they're dual color. If you flick the switch up the other way, they go to red. They're very powerful LEDs, so they light the whole of the inside of the vehicle. I think the idea of that is if you're map reading or something like that, you're not going to um, dazzle the driver. But it's really good looking light, loads of output, not very expensive. They're about 70 quid. So nice little add on there. We've done the ultimate hi-fi package, so that is the JL Audio 5 channel amplifier which sits underneath the other seats. It's the 6.5 inch focal mid-base units in the front of the seat box there, the 4 inch focal mid-range driver and the tweeter, and then underneath the back seat. As always, got the JL Audio CP106 subwoofer, fantastic little sub, very compact but really, really packs a punch and you can see the stainless finishes there. One thing that's very important with these mid-base drivers is that they're fitted in the correct location. Um, we had one in, uh, we had one of these in last week, and actually on the other side, the mid-base driver had been fitted with the back of the magnet touching the positive terminal of the battery. Um, we actually made a little video on that, which we'll post shortly, but um, that's a super no-no, so you know, really important to make sure these are fitted in the right place. They need to come right far over, otherwise they can get very close to the battery terminal, and that just wouldn't be allowed. Um, we've also shimmed the seats up, um, bits, seats were fouling on the uh, roll bar here, um, so we've shimmed them to uh, move them over a little bit. You can't get them right over because it's a you know, full chassis mounted roll cage, so it has to be there. Can't move that, we can't shim them over that far, but we've uh, at least managed to free off the seat belts and stuff. So there you go, just a few of the little modifications that we've made, kind of the usual stuff that we're doing day in and day out really. So. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post lots of Defender stuff, but actually lots of stuff about lots of other vehicles too. Thank you very much for watching.